Long ago, rainwater flowing from the high Sierras carved a gorge through the coastal mountains and out to the ocean at San Francisco's Golden Gate. Here the Pacific surged through the gorge to flood the 50 mile long inner valley. During centuries of ecological change, mirrored forms of life were sustained in the valleys and hills, the marshlands and mudflats, in the water and in the air. For centuries, small bands of Indians hunted, fished, and collected wild plants and shellfish without disturbing the delicate natural balance in this magnificent estuary where sea and fresh water meet. Little changed under Spanish and Mexican rule, yet scarcely 120 years after California joined the United States, much of the wildlife, the quality of air and water, and the natural contours of the bay had vanished. What remains is threatened. In 1850, most of the bay belonged to the government. However, in the next few decades, the state sold nearly 100 square miles of the bay to private owners, sometimes for as little as $1 an acre, and sometimes fraudulently. Much of the Sausalito waterfront belongs to one syndicate. Three or four banks and title insurance companies claim most of Corta Madera Bay. Standard Oil claims 640 offshore acres in addition to the 1,000 land acres it owns. Santa Fe owns 3,400 acres. Leslie Salt owns 52,000 acres in six counties. Ideal Cement claims 20,000 acres with ownership disputed. In addition, nearly 80 square miles of bay was allocated by the state in the past hundred years to cities and counties with permission to fill for many purposes. Thus, half the existing bay is outside direct state ownership. In 1850, the marshes, tidelands, and open waters of the bay system totaled more than 700 square miles. This has now shrunk to about 400 square miles. More than 40% has been diked off, and much of this has been filled. Significant filling began in San Francisco, where the bay used to come up to Montgomery Street. As in other important Bay River systems in the United States, most of the effects of bay filling are irreversible. The vital flushing action of the tides and currents is reduced, climate is changed, oxygen producing organisms are destroyed, and the shoal water habitats of fish and water birds are destroyed. 